Howdy Tinker Nerds, this is the comment show for my beginner's guide to projection mapping video. If you have not seen it yet, clicky clicky. Otherwise, let's get started and see what comments you guys had to say. Will you marry me? I'm an older nerd lady, but I have great assets. Great. I hope I'm not the only one who instantly thought next-gen interactive zombie shooting targets. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's definitely on my list of tutorials to make now. Once I figure out how to do it, of course. Is there a way to use live video, say input video into your computer and then map that? The software does support webcam input, so if you can use your webcam as a video camera and project it onto your scene, then that should do what you're wanting. I would like to project XBMC for Raspberry Pi onto my wall, so my question is, how is the quality of the projector? Do you like it, and would you suggest it to anyone else? Eh, it wasn't bad for the price, but with projectors, you're definitely getting what you're paying for. With this one, the quality wasn't awful, and you couldn't really see it in a well-lit room, but if your end goal is just to project something in a dimly lit room, then this should do the job. The links at the end are all misspelled. Is there any reason for this? Great catch. So for those of you that weren't aware, for the past few weeks I've been building up to my 200,000 subscriber contest by intentionally leaving out letters at the end of my last three video tutorials. If you put together all the missing letters, it would end up spelling this. What do you do with this? Well, that's where the fun begins. I hinted in some of my previous comment videos that this would point you to a web page. So if you took this word and put it at the end of tinkernut.com and added .html to it, it would take you to the contest page that looks like this. It stated that there would be three different puzzles to solve. The first one is hidden in this page. Hitting Control A on your keyboard will reveal it. This leads us to the next page that has an encrypted string that needs to be unencrypted. In the comments of my last video, I hinted at the encryption type by saying all your base belong to us, alluding to the base64 encryption. Running this through one of the many decryption programs you can find online gives us this phrase. Using this phrase as the URL to the next page pulls up the next clue. It's an image with a hint saying that one of my previous tutorials will show you how to solve it which alludes to this video about how it hiding files in images. The video mentions this hide in picture program that can extract hidden files from images. Using this program along with the password we decrypted in the last puzzle, we can retrieve this text file pointing to our next web page. This web page has an audio file that you're asked to save with another hint about a previous tutorial. That tutorial would be this one about hiding secret messages in audio. Using the visualizer software suggested in the video, we can view the audio spectrogram, which leads us to our next and final web page. It lists three final steps to complete before winning the contest. So who won? Well, the first person to comment on my video was Victor F. But the first person to comment on my video and email me, thus completing all three steps, was Hugism. So Hugism gets the $100 gift card. But since it was very close, I've decided to give Victor F. a second place $50 gift card. I hope that answers your question. All right, guys, thank you very much for the comments. And as a reminder, there may not be a tutorial for a couple weeks because I will be performing maintenance on my website. However, I promise that when the video tutorials return, they are going to be awesome. If you want a behind the scenes look and a sneak peek to the upcoming videos, I will be releasing that information to my Patreon subscribers. So if you want to become one, feel free to visit this website and donate. All right, I will see you guys next time.